So I hope you all enjoy yourself today. I myself, despite red shirts, roadblocks, and volcanoes, I'm delighted to say that I made it this far today. I'm very, I'd be very proud here uh, to be here to walk Roshi down the aisle today. It is an exceptional occasion, I hope so. There are some people, however, that cannot be here today. Uh, my daughter Nicola, who I know would be missing out very, very much. I think that was now. Uh, and also Kieran's wife, Trina, who are both expecting babies very shortly. Also, I'd like to remember um, Robbie's dad, John, and my uh, wife, Patricia, who I'm sure will be looking down on here today, and who would be very proud of both of you today and your performance. Yep. Um, I know Roshan has been praying for her mum over the past few days, and they asked the man above to move the ash on, and I believe our prayers are answered. <laughs> and before I get away from that point, there, um, in regard to welcoming people here, I omitted there the main people who are now my extended family, the Galvins, and particularly Robbie's mum here, Angela. You're more than welcome to the Rowan family. And Robbie and your family and, and friends, you're, more, you're all very welcome. And I hope later in the day we get to know many more of you. Okay? So if you will now, I'd like you to, to charge your glasses and we may have a toast to absent friends. Can you cheers? Cheers. Yes, so. Absent friends. Absent friends. Friend, what, are you, what are you doing from there? Those two stones? <laughs> 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 Don't matter. Okay, thank you. What? Who's going? Oh, I'm 13 well, I've always looked at Roshi as an achiever. And you were 15, so In school, well, in sports, I was in work, and in motherhood. She's excelled. Yeah. And I'm sure she would continue to do so in her married life. Also, Roshi was a great help to me and all the family when her mom passed away. I played a big part in, in the Neil's upbringing, for which I am very grateful to her. Well done, Roshi. <laughs> However, she had a moment too when things did not, go, did not go according to plan. I can remember when she decided to take up driving. At the time she was working in St. James's Hospital and decided to buy a car so she could work, uh, she get to work much quicker, at home much quicker. Um, at first it, she, we, we eventually picked on a small car, but she decided to leave it at home for the first few weeks as she was a bit nervous of the rush hour traffic. However, one evening I decided to surprise her. <laughs> So I went, drove down to James's hospital, I waited for her outside, and asked her to drive up the car home. So we set off up the Crumlin Road, two spaghetti junction walkers down, as you're a lot of you know, up the Greenhouse Road, onto the bypass, and eventually into Old Bond. Without any problems, I was very impressed at her driving, and was singing her praises as we neared the house. We reached the house, and we were uh, entering the driveway when, she su when suddenly the car shot forward and we hit the house wall with a bang. <laughs> Our first crash. <laughs> However, we now have a stop sign where the garage door used to be. <laughs> As for Robbie, well, I've always considered, I've considered Robbie a member of the family now for a long time. I'd be very sincere, I, I, I know him to be very sincere and conscientious and hard working and a dedicated farmer. Father. <laughs> Father. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he takes care and makes my daughter Roji happy. So what more can I ask? I wish them both a long and happy life together. 
So that's it, folks. You'd be glad to hear. And I'd like you all again once more to chime in that toast to the bride and groom. Money on you. To the bride and groom. And now I'll hand you back to the best They're man. in there. Cheers, Hal. Thanks very much. I'm sure we're all the way to hear uh, the Roshan Shroyden stories. Now we have Rob, the groom, who's going to say a few words for us. So put your hands together for Rob, please.